Right, so it's time to get rid of my Honda. Not this Honda. No. I like this Honda. I don't really use it too much. But I am getting rid of this Honda. Hey guys, Mark here. So I decided against having some edgy drum and bass music on in the background whilst I absolutely ruin this chair as you can see in the clip here. Um, it took a little while to do that big blue bit um, and uh, this is actually the second attempt but anyway let's get into it. So um, I have had my uh, play seat for some time now. Uh, I haven't actually used it too much really because a majority of the time it was set in my girlfriend's mum's house and uh, yeah, uh, when we moved out, we moved into this house and I had this fantastic office area. So, the gaming chair, I uh, put the stickers and also the vinyl wrap on in the same manner as the um, 2017 McLaren, the MCL-32, which was the Honda-powered engine. I've got a lot of stick for doing that actually, mainly because uh, it was uh, probably one of the worst cars in McLaren's history, but I did it because I obviously love the team and it was to um, go along with the 2017 game. Um, so I had the season with McLaren and uh, the next season after that I um, I left it as well. Uh, it's not something I wanted to change yearly because uh, that would just be pointless. But I just wanted my play seat to look a little bit nicer uh, as opposed to the plain black and a little bit more eye-catching. Uh, so, yeah, I'll put the Honda stickers on and whatnot. And, of course, as you know, I own a Honda. I love McLaren. And, uh, yeah, it was, um, it was good while it lasted. But... With the application before, I used the hairdryer, and the thing is with using the hairdryer is often it will not get to the temperature that you need to in order to make the memory of the vinyl stick properly. So it'll look good for a few weeks, a few months, and in some cases, especially if you're heating on metal where the temperatures will amplify, it will look good for all time. But we're talking three years now, and it starts to get a little bit faded, with, especially with the back, as it's always facing the sun. So I thought, let's do something different. Now, it appears that the McLaren colours are here to stay. The um, really beautiful pearlescent blue and the papaya colour. So I went on eBay and purchased the same colour orange that I had before, which was a fairly good match. The real thing uh, is called papaya spark. Uh, the real paint on the McLaren and with that of course there is a shimmer on it so it's like a like a metallic color obviously the vinyl orange that I bought here was completely flat in respect to the blue the blue is an absolute perfect color and you've got to bear in mind that I didn't actually see either color in the flesh before ordering it I ordered both vinyl colors from eBay and uh, took a bit of a, a punt on it and uh, it, it turned out to be pretty good. So I will leave the details of where I've got all the equipment in the description below as always and I just want to just give you a few hints and tips if you wanted to try doing this yourself. Hint number one and tip number one is always work on something other than a carpet unlike I am doing here because I singed some of the carpet and although it wasn't visible uh, you could certainly feel it when you were walking on top of it because it was like walking on Velcro, which of course there's an appearance from my son in the uh, image now. There we go. Getting in my way. There you go. <laughs> anyway, so um, essentially uh, the best way of doing this is in one piece and over flat surfaces. Now the top bit in blue was fairly flat. Uh, the bottom bit was very curved and it's difficult to do it in one piece. So with that, I used separate pieces and lined them up and cut away any excess that was not needed. This chair was completely freestyled, so I didn't plan any of it. 
and it was just kind of what felt right and looked right at the time and the results were pretty good in the end. With that being said, when you don't plan things, uh, they never really go according to plan. So there was quite a bit of wastage from the material. So always make sure you over order the material because this stuff is so cheap anyway. In total, the project cost about £35. So 20-ish for the orange because we needed a lot more of it. And um, the rest was spent on the blue. Now, going back to the temperatures, the heat of the... Uh, gun or hair dryer, whatever you use, needs to hit around about 100 degrees in order for it to break the memory on the vinyl. Now what that means is the vinyl stretches, but if you put a hair dryer on it, it will stretch, but it will remember its original form and it will simply lift and go back to what it was unless you break that memory by putting it to a certain temperature and then it will stick and remember to what you put it at. Now, the important thing here is to make sure that you are hitting those temperatures. Like I said, the hairdryer, of course, isn't gonna hit 100 degrees. When you heat something metal, of course, it will get hotter than what's coming out of the hairdryer. But what you need to remember is you can still get decent results from a hairdryer, but with this, I wanted to make it as professional as possible and as you know stress-free as possible and make sure that the material didn't lift. So if you can use a heat gun, they cost about 15 pounds and uh, they are uh, good for getting this kind of job done. If you're working over a flat surface, you could get away with a hairdryer, in my honest opinion. Uh, I did call on some guy's help for some advice on this project. <clears throat> he um, he wraps uh, uh, race cars um, for a living. And uh, yeah, I uh, asked him uh, what he thought about uh, certain complex corners and edges and how I should proceed. So if you are ever in doubt, all you need to do is drop somebody a message um, on one of the Facebook groups or even just a expert that does vinyl um, as an occupation and they'll be able to give you some advice. But there's a lot of tutorials on, on uh, places like YouTube so it is worth having a look on there because you can learn about how to vinyl uh, certain things and because most people are going to be vinyl in cars, wrapping cars, the complex curves and edges on cars are as complex as you can get. So if you can learn from that, then you can pretty much wrap anything. Now, with the stickers that I got, I'll cover this now because the end when I put the stickers on doesn't last too long. So there's this one guy on Facebook. Uh, he's also got an eBay store as well. If you go onto his store, and you don't find what you're after, do not worry because he will make you absolutely anything that you want. All you need to do is send over some high resolution images of the sponsor or the word or whatever you want and he will do all of the hard work for you. Now this guy, I was messaging at eight, nine o'clock at night on a weekend and he sent me the pictures um, of the finished product within minutes to make sure I was happy with it as well and uh, his name is The Sticker Buddy and there will be a link in the description below for his email address. Now when you send over the images to him and he prices it all up for you, pay the guy, he sends it out first class and it will be with you in no time. Now the stickers that I got from him were absolutely spot on. I tried searching everywhere for the font needed for the number on the back of the chair, uh, which you will see at the end of the video, and I couldn't find it anywhere. I sent him a fairly low quality picture of the sticker, uh, of the um, number, and he replicated it perfectly. So this guy is well worth uh, your 
money and uh, he creates some awesome products which is essential if you want this kind of project to come alive. Now also don't forget that uh, the stickers can't uh, is, isn't just to McLaren or um, one certain team. You can go out, do a bit of research, find some images of the logos that you need. It could be absolutely any sponsor whatsoever. All you need to do is just size them up and then you can send the details to this guy. You could do Ferrari, you could do um, McLaren, you could do Force India, you could do any team that you want and you could also do your own team if you have your own team on iRacing, that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, the results would be absolutely perfect. I also made uh, the water bottle that I have, the same McLaren colours as the seat as well, which uh, I didn't actually record because it was just using some off cuts of the orange and blue vinyl. But that sort of gives you an idea that you can customise pretty much anything with this stuff. And uh, because of the absolutely cheap nature of this vinyl, Cheap also doesn't mean nasty, by the way, because this, this stuff was pretty good. Um, so it really shows you what kind of product you get for your money. But you can customise absolutely anything at such a low price. And if you mess it up and it doesn't look good, just rip it off and start again. And like I said, there's no shame in that. As you can see here, I'm fiddling around and I have no idea really what I'm doing. Uh, I have no idea what kind of style or pattern I'm going for, I'm just doing it completely naturally just to see how it ends up. And I, I think the finished product's pretty good. Uh, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. And um, I would also say as well, that if you are looking to embark on a project like this, then all you need to do is stick your comments in the comment section below, and I will more than happily uh, do my best to answer any of the questions that you've got because I want you guys to be able to do this as well and trust me if I can do it you can do it as well just make sure you don't go burning any carpet while you're at it. Just a uh, update as well in respect to channel content I am going to start uh, racing again um, and videos are going to start being uploaded more regularly of course, anyone who is a follower of a channel knows that I have had some issues. I had to have surgery as well and I haven't really been able to race, which is why you haven't seen much in regards to new content, but that's going to be changing. So please make sure you stay tuned, comment, subscribe, like this video as well if you found it useful. I do really enjoy doing projects like this and it, they are normally quite popular videos so I uh, will continue doing them but I really just want to say thank you to everyone. Now just going on to this part here, the bottom of the seat was probably the hardest part of the entire project because again calling on the help of this guy who does this for a living I had to come to the conclusion that it couldn't all be done in one piece so what I did was did a bit of a collage of vinyl wrapping, overlapping and uh, whatnot. Uh, the end result was pretty good. Uh, you can see that it has been overlapped but because this is right at the bottom of the chair you really cannot see uh, that at all. So essentially everything looks like it's all one piece apart from this very bottom of the chair. But if this is what you have to do, then you have to do. And I think that as long as you're happy with the end result, then you've done a great job as far as I'm concerned. Uh, just a few other tips as well. Make sure you don't overstretch the material because uh, the keen eye watching this video may see in a few occasions at the beginning, I overstretch the material and it also warps and makes it really thin and kind of see-through as well, which is something that you really don't want to do. Now on to the last part of the video which is these stickers. Uh, again freestyled the stickers and um, yeah just decided what looked good. I didn't want to overdo it so I just left a majority of the sponsors uh, if not pretty much all the sponsors at the back of the chair. So guys that's the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed 
watching it. Uh, this is the uh, water bottle, which I did with the offcuts of vinyl, which looks pretty good. Again, showing you that you can uh, wrap pretty much anything that you want, and uh, it's nice and easy to do it. So, as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you've disliked it. For me, I'm Mark. I'm out. <laughs>